Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and in this video we are going to talk about all possible questions for question number 3 for the term and exam of grade 9 advanced and this is for term 3. Okay, let's start the lesson. See, in this type of questions you will get a picture, it is already given to you here and we have to find some of the parallel or skew lines or plane, okay. Try to understand, I'll try my level best to explain every term for you. Like, what is the meaning of skew lines? Do you remember that? I have made another video for this in detail. See, skew lines means neither parallel nor intersecting. Neither parallel nor intersecting or cutting, okay? Normally, we think that nor lines will be either parallel like this, or if they are not parallel, then they will cut each other like this, yes. But skew lines means they will not be parallel and they will not cut also each other. So how is it possible then? It is possible only when the lines lie in a different plane. They should not be in the same plane. So line should lie on a different plane. So skew to BC. You see line BC is given here. So where is BC? Just identify that line BC. It is the line. So all other lines which are neither parallel nor intersecting means they should be in another plane. That will be the part of the answer. So for example, here you see one line AF like this one. This is not parallel to BC, yes, and it is in the different plane. So AF will be the part of the answer. Okay, what does it mean by this double-headed arrow? It means lines can be extended in any direction. Okay, now another part of the answer can be DE. You see, DE also a line which is not parallel to line BC and it is in the different plane. So, it will not intersect also. Another line can be FE or sorry, HE. So, it can be the part of the answer because they will not cut each other. Another part of the answer can be FG. So it is FG because they are neither parallel nor intersecting. Why they will not cut each other? Because they are in the different plane. Okay. Now similarly all lines parallel to EH. Now you see we have to we'll have to find out EH here and then we will see the parallel lines. So parallel I told you they should not cut each other like this it should be so EH, where is the line? Yes, this is the line and we have to find EH parallel. So parallel means this can be the line, yes or no, see. So FG can be the parallel line to EH. Similarly, here you can see it, they are also on the same plane and they are parallel to each other. So this is DC. Like this you can find the parallel lines, okay. Similarly, all planes parallel to the plane DCH. My dear students, see, I am not saying that I am telling you all the answers, but I am just giving you the hint how you will find the answer. So if possible, you will find other combinations also, okay? Now, all planes parallel to the plane DCH. So see, DCH, this is DCH. And on which plane these three points are lying? On this left side plane, this one. Okay, this surface, this one. So what will be the surface parallel to this one? No doubt, this surface in the front will be parallel to this one or you can say surface on the left hand side will be parallel to this plane. So what will be the surface or what will be the name of the plane? Three points you can choose any point. So you can say A, B, G or you can say A, F, G or whatever you want. Okay, just you have to mention three points. So like this, you can simplify this question and I'm sure this question is very easy for you. Yes, just be careful with the parallel lines, skew lines and remember skew lines means the lines which are neither parallel nor intersecting. Okay, and don't forget to my uh, to watch my other videos also where I am explaining all the questions step by step okay and if you think that such videos will help you to share your knowledge then please share with your friends and like my channel thank you